do you want to record an intro to that? Or do you... <laughs> Can you see me now? Yep, that is weird. What am I, what am I doing? You're planking. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you're planking right now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Avni here, and today we are back on the Ripple Effect server to play some Minecraft. Here I am back on the in the theme park in the volcano biome. Uh, this place is progressing, kind of, just maybe not fast enough. Um, I've worked a lot on this, and it well, I, I'm happy with how it turns out, but I have to say. Well, I, I took this project as kind of a challenge to um, to improve my landscaping skills because it's kind of one of the things that I hadn't really done a lot of ever in Minecraft. And I have to say, it's not something that I really enjoy doing. So uh, it's kind of hard to motivate myself to, to do it, but I can, I still manage to progress and to build stuff and I'm I'm very happy with how it's looking so far it's it's far from being done there's a a lot of detailing that needs to be to be done but still still it's it's coming along quite nicely I think especially for something that I don't really enjoy all that much but still let's try and do some stuff here today the plan is not to work on this area I'm I'm doing that between episodes uh today uh, the plan is not to work on that area either. That's the other uh, dome that needs to be done. Uh, again, uh, same problem as last time. I think I I did make the the, the those towers uh, taller, but I, it doesn't really work. The scale here, it's it's kind of the buildings are too big uh, to not have any details on the side, and I have no idea what kind of detail I could add on the walls. Uh, this scale here is small enough to not have any details on the walls of the buildings, but it's too small to uh, easily maneuver through. Um, so I still have to work on, on that. I, I did not do anything on this place since the last time that I that I worked on this place. Anyway, you, you know what I mean. Um, but today we're gonna go in this desert here, the desert uh, kind of biome. Because uh, I need to work, I want to work on uh, another mini game, and I'm gonna need to dig out a big, 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 big area. Very big, so, um, well, maybe not that big, but anyway, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna dig that, and in the meantime, uh, I want to show you a little clip of something that happened with Mr. Decoy. In case you don't remember, I kind of placed an order in his embassy shop thing. Uh, so we we met up and talked about the the plans for for that that thing for that project. So let's take a look at that. So this first area here is the the arachnid forest. So as you can probably guess, and by the fact that it says be careful, it is a cute little forest that is sadly afflicted by the fact that there are a bunch of spiders that we don't see yet, but believe me, uh -oh. there are many spiders here. <laughs> That will soon come to uh, attack okay, us. Okay. <laughs> so, um, well, it, it kind of failed right now. I was, I was trying to create tension, but uh, <laughs> it was not a big success. But yeah, uh, I heard the, the hissing, and it's uh, kind of frightening. Oh, there's this little forest here, and there's a bit of a cave underneath. Mm -hmm. So for this, I was thinking, so it's kind of a exploration and a little, like there's a little cave down here too. Cave down here as well, with another spider. Mm -hmm. Die. <laughs> so I was thinking you know, something kind of a, a bit of a 
mystical feel or uh, in a bit of a action soundtrack because you kind of you you explore and you fight monsters and stuff like that mm -hmm. That's, so here are dungeons number two and three so here we have the gigantic hedge maze mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mobs can't spawn on path blocks then nope, I they can't consume. yeah i really really worked hard on the not uh, make it, making these things uh, safe from mobs mm -hmm. because uh, I don't want a creeper spotting in the middle here and <laughs> blowing up some stuff I can see why <laughs> so yeah for for this one I was thinking something well not not really action packed because it's just a it's just a maze there's no monsters there's no fighting there's no anything Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe something uh, more like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But you have those, you know, in uh, the Super Mario games mm -hmm. um, at um, in the first game in the last castle. I think you have kind of you have to choose the right path, mm -hmm. or or else you will just loop back all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is uh, that music could be a little more uh, too intense, maybe. I but, I uh, I don't remember the music. <laughs> kind of uh, something like that. Yeah. Yep, and also yep. in Super Mario sixty four, it's the same. You have a stairway that goes up, but mm -hmm. if you haven't unlocked uh, uh, some previous things, you just go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, Non-stop. It never, it never ends. It's, okay. and it's a... <laughs> that could be something, but... Yeah, that could be something cool. But yeah, it's kind of the one that I... I don't really have a specific idea for what we could have uh, for this. It's, it's, it's just walking around and... So that's, uh, that's the maze. Um, and then there is the mansion. So that's where you you explore the place, you find clues to solve the murder. Yeah. So this one, I kind of have kind of an, a mysterious feel, like, a, or maybe a, it's kind of a bit more outside the box, but like a, a jazzy uh, film noir f feeling, kind of. Yeah. Since yeah, you're, yeah. you're kind of a detective mm. trying to solve a case or something like that, I don't know. I, I just true. decided just popped in my head, but something like either like a fancy or a fancy thing because it's a mansion. And it could be that music could be kind of creepy as well if you yeah. if you look at uh, Twin Peaks, for instance. Mm -hmm. They I use that kind of jazzy soundtrack, but it, it's also yeah, like dark jazz know, kind of. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. So yeah, that's so far what I have in mind for uh, for this. So um, we could now discuss the issue of the payment. <laughs> what would you like me to do for you for that, or what would you like for that? Well, we'll we'll see. I guess how complicated uh, it will be and okay. how time consuming, mm -hmm. but. Um... Considering you have volunteered to kind of get materials and plan things out where where they should go and uh, things like that, it just feels like like fun. Cool, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm glad you. Glad you uh, I hope you will, you will enjoy doing that. Glad you yeah. you're. you're uh, I don't know. I forgot the word. I'm still tired. Music, I'm sorry. Uh, music is fine. Uh, fun. And yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. kind of fast in that area, actually. Ah, cool. Compared to Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is always projects I might need help, especially redstone. Yeah, I'm always happy to help with with redstone. 
So there it is, Mr. Decoy is gonna write some music for me, that's so amazing. In case you didn't know, he's like, a, he's a real professional musician, he's the real deal. Um, so that's, that's pretty amazing, it's the first time ever in my life that someone is gonna write music for something that I did, like as a, uh, a way to uh, compliment what I'm doing or to, uh, I, I, I don't know, the, I forgot the word I wanted to say, but yeah that's gonna add on something that I'm I'm that I did I'm kind of a, at a loss for words right now for for that because it's it's so cool it is so cool uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing what he does and to pr uh, uh, working on that thing with him it's gonna be so amazing um, so yeah back to business now uh, here we have the little game that I'm gonna build in this place uh, so I, as you probably noticed I, I dug the big hole uh, there's the little dirt patch that's where the um, the sheep are uh, so I'm probably gonna move them or uh, add something around it or something because there's always dirt particles falling down and it's kind of annoying seeing that brown stuff and I really hope it's just dirt anyway um, yeah so the the game that we're gonna have here um, is gonna be uh, something that I got the inspiration ins inspiration yeah an inspiration uh, from uh, from uh, Hermitcraft I think season three I'm not even sure but something like that uh, they, they had a huge gaming area and uh, it was kind of a parkour challenge thing um, with uh, well kind of more, more like an obstacle course uh, so there was a big glass and on the other side there was a uh, little uh, walkway something like that so you would walk there and there was a wall here and then you would uh, yeah you, you would walk around but sometimes there was like pistons behind blocks so that uh, when you walked next to it or uh, at a certain time it would push you down down into this little trench and you, you would have to walk back to the, the spawning or to the, the your um, spawn point or the well not the spawn point but you, you you get what I mean like a, a place where you you can jump back on the on in the game um, so I, that's what I'm gonna do so this area here in the middle is gonna be the viewing area uh, so it's all gonna be, be uh, it's all gonna be glass uh, still not sure if it's gonna be all clear glass because I have a clear glass texture um, it was made by Carlock, a fellow server member here. You should check it out. I'll, I'll try and put a link if I think to put a link to that in the description. But yeah, uh, so uh, I might use some colored glass or something instead because uh, if I, uh, for someone who doesn't have that texture pack, it's 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 gonna be ugly because the the regular glass is is kind of ugly and noisy and annoying. Um, so yeah, I might use some colored, and I'm probably not gonna use only like grey terracotta. Uh, it's it it would be quite ugly as well to do that. Uh, but it was more like to show the concept of the of the thing. So as I said, there's gonna be uh, obstacles like uh, little uh, blocks that come out and bump you. There's also gonna be holes uh, like with like a big wall here, and like one block sticks out sometimes so you can jump on it and so things have changed a bit around here I put the glass and I put the back wall for the glass as I expected uh, clear glass did not work at all well, not clear glass but uh, regular glass did not work at all without the clear glass texture pack um, so I decided to use stained glass instead it works better we see better through it uh, and I, I it allowed me to put some little patterns in it uh, and I also added the back wall so it kind of has a little funky feeling with the, the texture of the glass because there's like horizontal lines and vertical lines and it's it's a it's a pattern um, I also added some redstone bits so that's the system that's gonna decide that, that that's gonna determine if you are playing it or not so uh, if I press if I stand on this pressure plate the game is gonna start so this little clock here is running and um, it's activating the, the pistons that are pushing 
the blocks so let's take a look at it from inside so yeah like if you're standing here you want to jump here there might be a block getting in the way that's gonna push you out or just that you're gonna hit your face on and here that's the other possibility is that if you're trying to jump from here to there you can do it but when there's a block here you can jump on the block and, and then jump on that little uh, block here over there so that's the, the two basic systems blocks getting in the way or blocks being the way itself um, and also there's this pressure plate that's gonna turn it off uh, so that's what I've done for now I'm not gonna show more of the path themselves more than what I've shown because I don't want to spoil anything I I want the players who are gonna try it to to actually try it by themselves and see what's happening by themselves basically it makes sense anyway um, one more thing though that I want to add is a, a timer because um, I'm expecting people to be a bit competitive with that thing um, so I'm gonna add a timer uh, so I'm just gonna have do I stuff yes no, not that there so I'm gonna run a comparator from this thing that this comparator is gonna lock a hopper do I have a hopper no I do not because I'm super prepared um, so uh, I'm gonna grab some more stuff so there's gonna be a hopper getting locked and there's gonna be two chests and it's gonna just run the items from a chest to another and you're gonna be able to see what time it took you to beat the game basically um, so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna work on that timing system and then I'm gonna work a bit more on the, the different obstacles and the different things that are gonna be in, in the game and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna bring you back. That was hard to say. I don't know why. It's some fairly regular words. And there it is. The whole game has been built. So that's gonna be the whole thing. Uh, as you can see, if we press on these pressure plates, uh, they're, they're, the golden nuggets here starts to drain and they go into here and when you step on those so when you finish the game it stops and then you can put them back manually because I'm too lazy to put a system that will send them back automatically uh, and it, and it's it's faster just changing them yeah, manually um, I added some signs so no placing or breaking blocks obviously no elytra Billy uh, make sure the time chest is empty before entering the game and please put the nuggets back in the in the chest uh, it, it's it's all right uh, so put nuggets back here um, so as I said I'm not gonna spoil anything here because uh, I, I want to see people trying it for the first time uh, but it's 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 solvable it's beatable I can confirm because I did it and I did it within I think I had under five stacks of items uh, and I'm usually horrible at parkour so yeah that's uh, it's it's a beatable game uh, and now let's go up here that's the exit okay that was embarrassing uh, let's go up here that's the exit as I mentioned and well that's the entrance here uh, you don't have to jump back in every time you leave it it's just something that I did without really wanting to do it anyway uh, so that's what I have so far um, I kind of realized as I came back here that it's kind of underwhelming <laughs> it's just a it's kind of like blue glasses or something I don't know uh, so I might change it a little like making it I don't know like a bit a bit of an oasis or something maybe add some palm trees around it just to make it blend a bit more but then again not too much because I want people to see that it's actually a game like there's something down this hole uh, so I'll, I'll work on something like that uh, but I'm gonna have to do it between episodes because that's all the time that I have to record right now another thing that has changed I changed the floor for this game here because it was just cheese uh, cheese blocks uh, and it, it was a bit annoying so 
yeah, I changed it to some kind of water texture, kind of. Uh, nothing has changed anywhere else. Um, also, I had a very good idea, I think, for a way to make the whole thing, the whole area here, work. I'm gonna try it out. Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna start the next episode with that. I'm gonna ask for your opinion on that, and then I'm gonna see if I keep it that way. Uh, but I had... Yeah, I th what I think is a pretty good idea for that, but we'll see in the next episode, because as I said already, like five minutes ago, uh, that's all the time that I have to record today, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did press a button or another, they all do the same thing for me. I, I like them all, and uh, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.